and we've connected up with what appears to be a very solid fish. Oh. And that is an absolute banger of a fish. Good morning everybody and welcome to another full scale fishing adventures video. We're out chasing brim again. Last time we are down in the Derwent we were urban fishing and this time we're up on the beautiful north coast. We're going to go fish out the front of a river mouth and that's what's really cool about Tasmania is the diversity of fisheries you get to fish for species like brim and trout. There's a slight breeze blowing, but the sun is out and it's going to be a really nice day. Got the spin rod in hand, ready to go. Let's go find some fish. It's almost top of the tide now. My plan was to fish through the top and down through the run out so we get, you know, a couple of stages of the tide to find out what the fish like. I'm starting with the two and a half inch Z-Man grub in motor oil because I know it works so well if it's a confidence bait you're coming to a new bit of water it's very important to have a confidence bait there's some really nice rocks and there's some current pushing through some groins in the sand looks like a good area we're just gonna pick through it all and see if we can't find some brims So my sort of my theory is if it's early and the tide's up you think the fish would be in close and then they're going to move out with the tide as the sun starts to get high so i'm not too fussed about wading in super deep what is that salmon trout not as spiky as a flathead There we go. <laughs> Had to happen eventually. It's been ticking along, poking in amongst all the rocks and everything. Oh, it feels like a nice fish. And it is so different to the, the areas that I usually fish for brim. You know, we're almost at the coast. We're fishing in amongst all these boulders and everything. And that is one silver, silver brim shining in the morning sun very nice fish and how cool is it the places that fishing takes you this is just stunning that's a nice fish very nice fish oh, come on it's gonna lead him into the shore beautiful And once again, that Z-Man grub, just a confidence bait. I know it doesn't matter where I fish, I know I can put that lure on. And if I find a fish, it's generally going to eat it. That is beautiful. Check him out. First fish of the morning. Beautiful North Coast Tasmania brim. You notice how silver they are. When we were back down in the Derwent a little while ago, um, they were just super bronze. 
but these ones being out near the ocean they've got that beautiful silver body and that grub <laughs> is right down the hatch that is very cool all right we'll get the lure out of him get him back he's a stunning stunning fish off he goes so what i'm doing i'm just picking all the the little spots in between the rocks and the sand and the weed and I'm keeping my cast like reasonably short. I'm doing the odd longer one, but and just letting that grub sink to the bottom, trying to keep in contact with it just in case something grabs it on the way down. And then just doing that classic flick, flick, let it sit, get back in touch. Flick, flick, let it sit, get back in touch. And that's about as complicated as it gets. And like that fish just then just smashed it. So you'll know you know when one grabs it. Took a little while, but came back through that water again and we've connected up with what appears to be a very solid fish. Oh. Work my way down past the, uh, the rocks. Oof, nice fish. I haven't changed from the grub. I've just been ticking along, working through those little groins, little depressions in, in this sort of flat here. And we've connected with another beautiful north coast brim. The average size is really good. Like Tasmania, man, has got just some amazing, amazing brim fishing. There's so much to do so many places to go and do it and like i was saying on the way out here the diversity of fisheries to be able to come and catch them at the mouths of the estuaries and then be up in these beautiful rivers and it's all within a few hours of each other you don't have to travel far like an hour or two is a long drive in tasmania it's just so different to the mainland so different to the mainland check him out Cracking, cracking fish. Oh, here you go. That is an absolute corker. That was the one that I came to catch. And what a way, what a way to spend a morning just waiting a beautiful isolated sand flat on the north coast of Tassie catching beautiful brim in the shallows and that is an absolute banger of a fish different color to the other one this one's a bit bronzy and what that usually means is this one's come down from up the river he hasn't been in the mouth all that long and you know brim will move around a long way with the tide and that's why it's super important to work with the tides because you never quite know when they're going to come through but the z-man grub has done it again beautiful fish absolute ripper and persistence is really key with this um type of fishing or any fishing really i haven't fish this location um, before I'm just going through the paces working out the the areas that the fish are holding and it seems to be in those depressions in between the rocks um, but just going through using a confidence lure putting it in the right places we've got a couple of really nice fish now and I'm pretty happy with that That's a big one. I just weighed it out and I've picked this little blue D 
deep blue edge on my second cast in there it's just been walloped oh that was really really cool i'm just oh, standing on top of these rocks here working slowly i think slowly is the key when you don't have heaps of water to fish you don't need to power through it You've got all the time in the world and that is another cracker how's the average size i think it's slightly bigger than the last one oh how good a sound is it the braid just cutting through the water come on i think we're at the top of the tide now the current slowed a bit but it hasn't affected the fishing at all very very nice fish oh come on i'm just gonna work my way in to a bit shallower water without tripping over a rock backwards would it be good big fish big fish if you come to tassie to fish for brim the first thing that you will notice or one of the first things you'll notice is that the average size is so good the fisheries are in such good condition there's so many quality fish to catch if you've ever thought about coming fishing down in tassie you don't need a boat there's so many places you can go without a boat and catch absolutely quality fish like this that is a stonker they'd be pushing 40 beautiful fish to catch just waiting this amazing little creek mouth across the sand and that just came out of that deeper channel and he is a brute oh off he goes he wasn't hanging around for a minute longer Oof, looks good right in the highway I thought there was going to be another one there. <laughs> I could have very much found where they're holding now. Oh, that is a good fish too. All such solid fish. And that was, you know, it's been really cool to be able to work through all the water, all the little pockets I've just found. And I know this spot, I have to make the most of it because I know this spot's only good with this stage of the tide. That is another good fish, but the current was ripping through here before and maybe, you know, maybe they go hold in that deeper water as the current stops and then move out onto the flats when the current moves, but I don't know what exactly it is, but they are in there. Very nice fish. That is another, another Tassie chunk. Oh, look at that. Like, really what a chunk of a brim that is awesome oh hey 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 i'm gonna let you go you're right he absolutely nailed it that is awesome look at the water so clear nice 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 Man, that looks good. There he is. I knew there was going to be one in there. Get out of the rock. Another cracking fish. And how good's that to be able to fish through? Oh, he's gonna get me around the rock. Come on, I can see him on the other side of the rock there. Oh, that's bad. That's bad. He's got me around the rock. I'm gonna 
get this fish. You can still see him there, he's still on. That's so in the rock though. I don't know if I can get out there. carefully do this without going for a swim <laughs> that's deep oh, come on come back fish he's got me in there good try flicking it nah gone ah smoked me smoked me around the rock <laughs> Well, I think the best thing to come out of that was that I didn't go swimming in the ocean. Huh, time to re-rig. Yes, that's a big one. That's a big one. Get him out of the rock. Oh, I don't want to get roasted by this one again. He is a solid looking fish and he's still a long way away. Oh. Oh. Don't you dare go around that rock. I can't even get out there, I don't think. He's going to do his best to get me around the rock. Oh. <laughs> that was a real red line fight. That's so much fun. <laughs> oh, yeah. He had me in all sorts of trouble. Beautiful black brim on the north coast of Tasmania. That was so much fun. He was in the rocks. He was around this. He was around that. But I got him. Chunk of a fish. Off he goes. Well, that is pretty much it. The tide is ripping out now. If you love your light line lure fishing, you've got to get down to Tassie. There is so much to do. There's so much to explore. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you like it. Leave a comment and let me know. If you subscribe to the channel, then you won't miss any of the episodes. And that is pretty much it. I will catch you next time. <laughs>